Hi, Megan and Leo. On a recent iOS Today, Leo was expressing some concern about the impact of iCloud Photo Library on the storage of iOS devices. Well, I have a giant photos library and I have put iCloud Photo Library on both my iPhone and my iPad and it works spectacularly well to manage the storage that you have using those optimized images. Let me demonstrate with my example. Here we are looking at my photos library over on my MacBook Pro that has a one terabyte internal drive. I have every single photograph I have ever taken with a digital camera dating back to, I think it's 2000, how far back do we go? 2001 or so. Anyway, let's do a get info on this library to see how big it actually is. It is 58,000 photos, which is norm more than a normal person should probably have. It includes 582 videos and it's taking up 301 gigabytes on my MacBook Pro. Now let's switch over to my iPhone and see what I see there. Here is my iPhone and you can see again that I have every single photo possible on this device. Here's all those same photos that you saw before going back to 2001 and beyond. Anyway, let's go take a look at my storage. And you can see it's only taking up 16.4 gigabytes on my iPhone 6. Notice that I have optimized iPhone storage. Now, we looked at the iPhone, so we saw around 16 gigabytes. Let's see what the iPad is seeing. And you'll notice it's using 15.5 gigabytes. Not the same as the iPhone, but pretty close. Now, of course, most people don't have this ridiculous size photo library. So I'm finding that most of my friends can fit under the 200 gigabyte plan, which is really actually reasonably priced. It's only if you have a giant photo library like I do that you might run into some serious costs. So Leo, I hope that allays your concerns about people using iCloud photo library and chewing up all of the storage on their portable devices.